They, I don't know, but I hear someone likes Alphonse. I hear them playing their music. Just drop Max off of school. Look how crazy I look. So I braided my hair fakely just because I was blow drying it and some of my ends are out. Look at this. I don't even look like I blow dry my hair. It's like those styles. What are they called? Tribals. It truly just amazes me that for some reason, every time, and I'm not exaggerating by every, every time I wash my hair and decide to blow dry it, there's some sort of rain happening. Right now it's just humidity. Rain was not predicted, but it's coming. You see this? Anywho. So do you guys, parents, on your morning commutes do you have parents or other parents kids that your friends or your children are friends with and the kids say hi to you every single morning thank you good morning like one of max's classmates i swear she is the cutest little thing and she's every morning since i've met the little girl she says good morning when she waves so i say good morning to her and then i try to extend it to her parental and it's just like no eye contact no nothing is it me okay so i just took a shower um took a shower got ready i'm really trying to be ready it's 10 a.m because it really affects my mood my energy throughout the day not just the makeup, but like taking a shower or getting dressed in the morning it really just makes me feel like the day is starting, especially with this weather. Um, <clears throat> we're heading to BJ's. See, nothing special, but still a special face. We're gonna get some groceries and then um, I need to get this Christmas list christmas gift situation situated and get to it okay but first let me water my elephant ears because they're giving me the look the vibe that they thirsty that they feel neglected but i gotta make sure with the meter that the one by the window especially it's looking a little <laughs> yep, dry. And then the skin dapsis seems like it's pretty dry, but the weight seems like it's still wet. Dry. And then our money tree, I've been trying to stay on top of watering her because she's been looking like I don't treat her right. But I think it's because she's by the radiator. It just dries out a lot faster. Look at this. That's authority. It's like something about her roots over here just don't grab the way I want them to grab. I don't really have anything to tie her to. Hmm. I feel like ev eventually I want to move this, like you can't even see her. I want to move this umbrella pant. I've had her for so long and because it's been in these dark spaces, it just doesn't get very tall. So it's like if I put her and I can't put a drapey plant here either. It's just I don't have anywhere to actually put her to get more light. Because all the other planters are too big. And then this one is so hard to get to. But I'm pretty sure she's dry. Okay, 23 minutes later, look, I'm all hot and sweaty. Finally out the house. Look at this. Just watering plants and gushing. Does this to me. 
Bears working at this BJ's is a miracle. I need the excuse to come here for groceries and get a the bit. Just want to see the plan. I actually think my card expired, so I didn't double. <clears throat> Maybe a garden here. Ooh. We have the little mini pineapple here. I'm not too sure I want one of these. Little succulent things are always super cute. Oh, that moss that looks like that. Kind of flowers. I got this one last time. They have these. But I know they're gonna die on me, so I just don't bother. And those poor ravens. Oh my goodness, these ZZs. Are destroyed. We have these ferns. Okay, just not it. Of course, all the many pines. Why do pine trees do cotton balls? I'm not too sure, but it's real. is gonna be the quickest voiceover ever i'm actually not even looking at the footage just trying to remember using my brain cells as to what happened because i just realized i have like five minutes left quiet time and i need to make this voiceover I went to BJ's and this is like a quick impromptu BJ's haul. I was trying to do it more detailed and really show you guys what I got. But I got distracted in conversation. I feel like living in a small space. There's not a time where I go grocery shopping or especially to BJ's. BJ's is the worst, but it just makes sense to buy certain items in BJ's if we go through them a lot. But like the freezer obviously is tiny, the fridge is tiny. So whenever I do grocery shopping, it's kind of like I have to keep that in mind whenever I'm buying things. Because I don't have nowhere to put them. I wish I could buy groceries like once a month so I don't have to go every freaking week. But I can't. And so, here we are. Okay, too. I know that I'm gonna get that meal eventually. I was thinking like burgers, but I need burgers. Burgers sound good too. Sorry, sorry. That's why I sound like my friends. Burgers sound good too. Still gotta get my bread. My bread has to be to me. Kimberly, no. Okay, all right, baby. I'm just gonna put this right here. Look, I know I'm crazy. You can't. I know. I'm gonna be crazy. 
I would love to help. Go for Sam John. I'm warning you now that when you open this bag of cheese, don't smell it. It smells milky. <laughs> it's not nasty. It doesn't smell like spoiled milk. I'm just saying it. Just when you open it, it's like cheese, but milk. After putting all the groceries away, I started getting the carne guisada prepped, um, just seasoned everything, put it in a Ziploc, and then got started on lunch. Today we were having this avocado ranch salad from BJ's as well, just quick with some leftover uh, pollo guisado, that's hilarious. It's pretty tasty. So, I realized that I've done a few videos, some cooking going on, where I don't show the completed thing, but here I'm making carne guisada for babe per her request, and I wish I would have shown you guys what it looked like, but yeah. The bag that I was talking about whenever i do carne guisada or any type of guisao spanish ways that you start with a little burnt sugar on the pan to really like brown the meat gives it a whole other flavor so once that's all browned you kind of cover it for a little bit until the meat kind of just simmers in its own juices then we add a can of tomato sauce fill that can with water then we cover it and leave it on low for like three to four hours and then the trick is to put a silver spoon in the middle of the pot which tenderizes the meat i don't know i don't know y'all can try it but it's a surefire way whenever i want to cook meat tender and quickly what day is it Five and six. Smells You already open it? No. That's five. Oh my God. Okay, open it. Cards. You could write cards. That's cute. That's cute, Papa. You could give it to some of your classmates. I'm giving to it one to Gabby and one to Kendra. Very nice. You know why? These are nice. Because they both like Harry Potter. So which one would you do for each? What, what does the card look like? Oh, it has the three of them. Yeah, look. They're all different. Oh, oh they're nice. They thick. Yeah, and the back says WB on it. Mm. The Warrior so Bros, mom. I wish we could stay at Hogwarts this Christmas. Me too. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Plus, That's cool. Well, oh. not this Christmas. Not Christmas time. 
Sorcerer Stone, Voldemort, um, Chambers of Secrets. I want to stay for Christmas. That's when everything's juicy. Close to like your Christmas break, right? So you can give it to them before Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Um, in both of them, it's gonna say enjoy your Christmas break from Max. Aww. <coughs> That's cute. I wish we had 22 of them. I would have given one to every one of my friends. Oh, every single one of my classmates. Cool. Look at this one. It has a Dusty Hollow sign, the Quidditch. The Dusty Hollow sign, Quidditch, the owl. The Harry Potter's thing, glasses. The one I'm going to give to Gabby. Where the other one? Oh. Ma, look! Show the camera. Can you see it moving? Yes. That's cool. <laughs> right here. Look. ¿Qué será? ¿Qué será? Oh, it's like traits of each um house. Look. Mm. We're going to have to get Max a mini tree for him next year. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a Hogwarts tree. Yep. What do you think? Vlogmas this week so far. <laughs> It's not continuing. And vlog not one thing yet. Not one. My rainbow. It's the rainbow. Not one vlog missy thing. Shades. The mom. O O T D. This is what happened. We have a jacket. Boo. It's 46 degrees today. Then we have the hoodie. Then we have the robe. Of course, like I said, we take off pants only one kind of way. I straightened my hair about three days ago and I put these little braids just to section the pieces as I blow dry them so you can see how big the pieces are when I blow dry my hair and haven't done anything with it since so no wasn't straight and straightened no my intention was not to braid my hair this way but here we are I just got out of the shower and I left the Joe Budden podcast playing in the background and they arguing. I think they're talking about the Dion Sanders sitch. But why do they feel like this? Okay, let's go back a little bit because I'm intrigued. But another note just got out the shower um i need to bring out this train it's like the train knows my schedule better than i know my schedule i just got out the shower um it is 11 35 i spent way too much time scrolling on tiktok today i'm not proud of it but it was quite addicting as we all know um but I'm finally up. I'm getting ready for the day. It's a little late. I'm not happy. I'm judging myself. And I have to wrap some presents that I have hiding in my house. And then I have to step out and like try to see if I can finish up this present situation. But first I have to get ready. I also have to bring up my depression lamp or like, what is it called? It's like light therapy. My depression lamp because I'm slacking. I'm gonna take my vitamin D's. Can't play these depressive ass games. 
I don't feel depressed right now. But when I have like mornings like where I'm like this, I'm like, oh, I'm so depressed. <laughs> oh, I feel it. So we need to do more preventative measures. Like getting ready. We're heading to the streets. Hair is not hairing. Um, we're going to the thrift store and we're going to TJ Maxx real quick. Babe is going to be home in like 40 minutes. Did a quick face, did some concealer, blush, and lips. No mascara or my eyebrows. This is the OOTD you can't even see because my mirror is now permanently blocked by plants. Um, shirt, t-shirt, house shirt, fuzzy jacket, express, thrifted pants. Purple Crocs. Already sweating. So me sweating before I go out, it's pretty common. I feel like my jacket may be a little too hot for this weather, but um, I don't want to wear a hoodie. I don't want to wear my trench. So we're wearing this fuzzy jacket. But if I'm hot, I'm going to be annoyed. Let's take a shower. I come so hard on my thing and find my keys. My challenge when going out is always trying to remember to film. I never remember. I'm on task and now I have a time limit, so it's even harder. Fucking elevator, I swear. I have no patience. Okay, I'm outside. The jacket's perfect, it's actually chilly. I thought I didn't come out as naked as I felt like I needed to be because now I'm cold. Also, wow. Nausea is rough. If I'm not out about doing something, and even if I am out and about doing something, who the nausea comes from me. I'm gonna continue. I just went to the thrift store. I swear, sometimes their belief that people are stealing literally at the register, which is fine because I know people do it, it just irritates me in ways we figured out like how not to be irritated by it just irritated meanwhile it's like people could literally put the objects on and just walk out the fucking store but anyways i found these 90s cowboy boots that i've been wanting cowboy boots for a while now and i found them they're a wild country. I think they're men's, which makes them even looser. Love it because I'm really trying not to squeeze my toes. But they're like a cognac brown leather. And they were 30 bucks. I don't love that for me. I like things to be. 20 and under at the thrift store and then when i don't catch a sale day i hate it even more the last time that i passed up on cowboy boots i regretted it and these i really like i like the way they feel they feel loose on my toes and i like the color so when we get home i'll show you guys Okay, I'm gonna try on these boots for you guys. I don't know how good this angle is gonna be, but these are the boots. Terrible location. You guys can't see nothing. You gotta go to the piso. Just don't fall forward, okay? Are you guys seeing any dirt down there? Definitely a, a leggings moment, but it kind of fits my task. Let's just pretend, okay? Like, spilling a little bit, but like, not too much. 
not enough where I can't be obsessed. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love them. So, for my scoliosis girlies, you're not supposed to do these. So, short increase. Who's calling me?